Welcome back. Kourtney Kardashian's Father's Day post sparked a wave of online reactions, with some fans praising her dedication to her new husband Travis Barker, and others questioning the lack of acknowledgement towards her ex, Scott Disick. Taking to social media, Kourtney shared a series of heartwarming photos featuring Travis and their son, Rain. The tender moments captured Travis cuddling the baby, playing on the beach, and enjoying a cozy moment on a private jet. She captioned the post with a heartfelt message expressing her immense gratitude for Travis's role as a father, not just to their son Rain, but to all their children. She highlighted his protective nature and how he makes their family life feel complete. On the surface, Courtney's post was a heartwarming display of love and appreciation. The photos, a mix of candid beach moments and private jet cuddles, showcased a tender bond between Travis and their son, Rain. Her caption overflowed with gratitude, highlighting Travis's nurturing spirit and his ability to make their family feel complete. However, the lack of recognition for Scott, who co-parented their children for years, cast a long shadow. Whispers quickly turned into a roar on social media. Team Travis applauded Courtney for celebrating her current family unit and showering her husband with well-deserved praise. They saw it as a sweet gesture, a testament to the love and support Travis brings to their lives. However, Team Scott couldn't ignore the elephant in the room. Despite their tumultuous past, some felt a simple Father's Day acknowledgement wouldn't have diminished Travis's role. It could have been a respectful nod to the man who shared in raising their children. Fueling the fire were rumors swirling around the Kardashian inner circle. Sources close to the couple hinted at a deeper conflict. Allegedly, Courtney had drafted a message to Scott, a simple Father's Day wish, but it never saw the light of day. Travis, according to these whispers, was the one who hit the delete button. Motives were thrown around like confetti. Was Travis, known for his brooding persona, insecure about Scott? Did he perceive Scott as a lingering threat to his position as the man of the house? Or was it a simpler case of competitive pride, a belief that his handsomeness and rock star persona outshone all others? This tribute, however, coincided with a noticeable absence of recognition for Scott Disick, the father of Mason, Penelope, and Rain. Scott and Courtney were together for many years and co-parented their children throughout their relationship. This dynamic shift in Courtney's social media spotlight on Father's Day left some fans wondering if there were any intentions behind the omission. The internet buzz surrounding Courtney's post created a space for mixed reactions. Some fans applauded her for celebrating her current family unit and showering Travis with well-deserved appreciation. Others expressed sympathy for Scott, feeling that despite their past issues, a Father's Day acknowledgement would have been a respectful gesture. Courtney, 45, shared a carousel of photos of Travis, 48, on her Instagram feed. Happy Father's Day at Travis Barker. Beyond grateful for the dad that you are to our baby boy and all of our kids. You keep us safe and protected and take care of us, she wrote. Having a family with you is heaven. Happy to celebrate you. The first photo in the bunch showed the musician sitting in bed with their son Rocky in his arms. In another snap, Travis appeared to be holding the baby while on a private jet. Other photos showed Travis with Courtney's kids, including one pic of the rocker on a beach with Rocky in his arms and Rain to six standing at his side. The last two snaps in the bunch showed Travis holding Rocky at the beach and in what looked like a green room. In the comments, some gushed over the couple, while others critiqued Courtney for dissing Scott. The reality star and her ex-boyfriend shared children Mason, Penelope, and Rain. What about Scott? One fan wondered. And nothing to the man who is a fantastic father to your other three kids. Sad, someone else shared. A where's the shout out to the father of 75% of you are kids? A third commenter wondered. Way to exclude his three other children, another critic commented, noting that Travis' other kids, Landon, Alabama, and Audiana, were not featured in the post. One commenter came to her defense. My gosh, I see so many of you asking about Scott in the post like she has to acknowledge him at all, especially on a post dedicated to her actual husband, the one who did actually marry her and seems to make her happy, the post began. Which let me just remind y'all how much Scott humiliated her through the years they were together, so no, she doesn't need to talk slash post about him if she doesn't feel like it. Kourtney Kardashian has become a beacon of openness when it comes to her journey with motherhood, particularly in regards to her youngest child, Rain. While she chooses to keep Rocky's face out of the public eye, Kourtney hasn't shied away from sharing her experiences with her fans. The latest season of The Kardashians offered an unfiltered look at Kourtney's path to welcoming baby number four. 
Cameras documented the emotional highs and lows of her fertility struggles, a reality many women face, but rarely discuss so candidly on such a large platform. Courtney's vulnerability resonated with viewers, fostering a sense of connection and understanding. This openness extends beyond the confines of reality television. Courtney actively uses her social media platform, particularly Instagram stories, to connect with her followers on a personal level. She's fielded questions about her IVF journey, providing honest and insightful answers. One fan bravely inquired, had six failed IVFs, how did you find the strength to keep going? It's debilitating. Courtney's response resonated with empathy. She acknowledged the immense emotional and physical toll of IVF, but also offered a glimmer of hope. She spoke of finding peace by trusting in a higher power and focusing on optimizing her health. Her journey, with its challenges and triumphs, became a source of inspiration for many struggling with similar experiences. I know how hard it is to feel like you're not trying, but believing in God's plan and saying your prayers is so powerful. All the best, Courtney concluded. In a later post, she clarified, I want to be super clear because it seems my answer to the IVF question may have been confusing. I got pregnant 100% naturally, not through IVF, one year after stopping IVF actually. Through God's blessing on Valentine's Day, sources close to Scott DeSick, the father of her three older children, reveal a growing sense of hurt and resentment. Scott, who has battled his own demons with substance abuse in the past, has reportedly expressed discomfort with Courtney's public disclosures, particularly the details surrounding IVF. He feels it paints him in an unflattering light, suggesting a disconnect or inadequacy on his part during their relationship. Whispers abound that Scott might even confront Travis Barker, Courtney's current husband, about the situation. Some speculate he feels Travis is encouraging this level of openness, a way to further marginalize him and solidify his own position in the family. Despite their tumultuous past, some reports suggest that Scott still harbors a flame for Courtney. He might be silently waiting for a chance to rekindle their romance, a flicker of hope rekindled by their recent co-parenting efforts. The possibility of Scott's lingering feelings adds another layer of complexity to the situation. Courtney, ever the enigma, remains silent throughout the social media frenzy. Her silence, however, speaks volumes. Is it a deliberate choice, a way to establish clear boundaries with Scott and solidify Travis's role in the family? Or is it an attempt to avoid further drama, to navigate the delicate dance of honoring the past while embracing the present? While some lauded Courtney's strength and honesty, others felt a pang of sympathy for Scott Disick. The father of her three older children, Scott has grappled with his own demons in the past, including substance abuse. Sources close to him revealed a growing sense of hurt and resentment. Scott reportedly expressed discomfort with Courtney's public disclosures, particularly the details surrounding IVF which, some argued, painted an incomplete picture. He felt it cast him in an unflattering light, suggesting a disconnect or inadequacy on his part during their relationship. Whispers of a potential confrontation with Travis Barker, Courtney's current husband, swirled like wildfire. Some speculated Scott felt Travis encouraged this level of openness, a way to further marginalize him and solidify his own position in the family. This potential blow-up overshadowed a crucial aspect of the situation. Many fans argued that a simple Father's Day acknowledgement directed towards Scott, despite their tumultuous past, would have gone a long way. For their children, Mason, Penelope, and Rain, Scott remains a constant presence, a source of love and guidance. A public recognition of his role, even a brief one, would have demonstrated respect for their shared history and the complex dynamics of a blended family. It would have sent a message of unity to the children, assuring them that both fathers, in their own unique ways, held a significant place in their lives. Thank you for watching.